Kristen from Worthington Farms and I'm here to show you how to make nut butter. You see all the different kinds of nut butter, of course, we all know peanut butter. You got creamy and the crunchy and that whole thing that everybody decides whether they, they're on the crunchy fan or the, the, the creamy fan. I personally, I, I like both, but then you've got almond butter and cashew butter and you don't see very often, every once in a while you can see some pecan butter, but this is just gonna give you an overview of how to make nut butter. You can do it with almost any different thing um, to make it yourself. But I'm going to show you how to do it with your own appliances. So I'm using a, a Ninja Blender. So it's got, if you look closely here, it's got these little tines right here that, that make it so that it really eats up. And it's almost like a, <clears throat> a KitchenAid so, or a um, Cuisinart. So we're going to be using that today. And um, <clears throat> we're going to start with three cups of toasted pecans. Now, I toasted these before, so what, it's really simple, it's like 375 in your oven for about five minutes. Keep an eye on it, because for me, five minutes works out just about right, but in other people's ovens, depending where you put it on the rack, it could get darker. So just keep an eye on it, and once it starts getting toasted, take it out. And it, but it makes a really nice flavor for the, for the nut butter. So you're gonna put this in, the, I, I did three, three cups here, because I'm trying to do like about two cups of nut butter. So it doesn't matter also if they're holes or pieces because honestly, a lot of times we, we think we need the holes, but pieces work just fine too because it's gonna be blended anyway. I'll pour them in here. And then I'm gonna pour in pecan oil. Now you can use, I'm gonna do a quarter cup. This is what this is, is a quarter cup of pecan oil. You can use any kind of light tasting oil. I would not use olive oil, I wouldn't use even avocado oil has a little bit more flavor to it. Canola oil would work, maybe grapeseed oil, something that just is really, really light so you're not gonna taste that with your, with your nut butter. And I'm gonna put it on here and put it down and then I'm going to turn this around so I can see it. I'm gonna put on the power and I'm just gonna put it in. Now you're gonna start blending this. It's gonna start getting more and more cr crunched up. I almost forgot my, my um, spatula so I can kind of, you keep bringing it down. And you're gonna keep it blending probably for a good four minutes so that it gets really, really well blended. And we're gonna, I'm gonna show you what it looks like as we're going. Okay, so as you see, it's getting chopped up right through here. But I'm noticing in here that it's still kind of coarse and it's not really coming together because you want it to really, start making it into a creamy butter. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna add another quarter cup of, of uh, so that would be a half cup of pecan oil altogether. And see what we get here. So I'll pour this in right like this. And then we're gonna look at the side as it's, as it's blending and see if once it starts becoming loose, but it starts moving this through, you'll see. Do you see how it's starting to get creamy right through here? And you can see that's turning into like a, a actually creamy consistency. I'm gonna give it another minute or so before I we start putting in the salt and the, and the sweeteners. Okay, so here's the consistency that you want. You want it to be really nice and creamy and that you're not gonna, you're, most of, the, of, of it's gonna be gone. So this is what we're gonna be doing. Now we're gonna add the rest of the ingredients. So I want one tablespoon of honey. Now you can add more, um, you can add corn syrup, you can add, I just, I definitely would add something that, that's like honey. The corn syrup, uh, sugar would be a little too granular. Um, or nothing at all. Some people don't even want the, the sweetness in there. I kind of like the sweetness, but it, it definitely taste it afterwards and make sure that that tastes right for you. And then I would really like to put in at least a teaspoon of, sh of salt in there too. And put on the, the lid and finish it up. Just blend it just for just not even 30 seconds. Okay, so now it's intense taste test. Yep, that's perfect. So that's how you make pecan butter. Now I'm thinking with um, cashew or or even almond, it might be a little different with how much oil you put in. Just play with 
with it. It really isn't like a big, big science or anything to it, but it is something that's kind of fun to make. It's nutritious because you know exactly what's in it. Your kids are going to love it. You can put it into a lot of different things. I've made hummus with it. I've made um, sandwiches. I've put it into peanut butter. Instead of doing peanut butter cookies, it's pecan butter cookies. All of those things you can do. So um, if you like this, you can follow me at Worthington Pecan Farm on Instagram and Facebook. I will have this uh, recipe as well as this video will be on my website. So you can always find it there on the how to. And if you're not my friend yet, you should be. And I should, if you want to follow me, I'll follow you too. So until next time, uh, just remember that nothing's better than pecans. See ya.